All right, welcome to this scenario where we have a button that does nothing yet, but if we click this once, twice up, and then hit the button, one, two balls spawn. If we click it up one more, one, two, three balls spawn. So we can do fun things with those, but it listens to the clicks of the dial in position and the button that will then spawn things, which can get out of control very quickly, which is fun. So let's take a quick look at how we do that. So back here in Unity, there's some key things here. Um, this console, which is this entire unit, uh, needs the My Controls 2 and just fill in these uh, variables, the bouncy ball out of the prefabs folder. The spawn location is this little globe looking thing. Um, the XR knob container, the DAO container, that's this right here. And you don't have to mess with those values. Uh, number two, the DAO container needs this XR knob and then you'll drag in the dial physical. Um, that's the physical object itself. And then on the button container, uh, you'll want the XR push button and drag in the button physical. And here's some values that I used. Um, and then on this on press, I just dragged this console into here and ran the my controls spawn knob obj object. Um, number four, the button physical uh, right there needs a rigid body and sphere collider not trigger and this is kinematic not using gravity and then the dial physical needs the same thing so you put all those together you'll be able to push the button and spawn whatever object you throw in as the prefab so have fun good luck